Olympic shows look a little different now because of the coronavirus pandemic. WTVA's Alexis Jones is live in Tupelo with how one magician is safely entertaining groups. I'm at Fair Park where I met up with a magician who's doing tricks over the phone. It's different. You can't do the same show you've always done. Bentley Burns started doing magic at 12 years old. He said he usually performs at schools and parties, but since the pandemic began, he's been entertaining crowds virtually. Um, which means my whole show is now a new show because usually you have to have spectators involved and they have to pick cards or come on stage and you can't do that through a screen. Burns said he had to adjust his tricks like this rubber band one so people can still have fun on Facebook Live and on Zoom. Burns said he makes sure people have their own coins, playing cards, and rubber bands. He shows them how to do his tricks so they can stay engaged. You just have to keep them uh, focused and always have something for them to do in their hands. Burns said being a magician during the epidemic has been difficult, but thanks to his shows for colleges and libraries, he's able to do what he loves and make a profit. You have to rework it, you have to buy equipment, you have to figure out what works, what's not. And it's still a new world, so it's definitely challenging. Burns said even though he's been able to adapt, he can't wait to perform in front of people again. In Tupelo, Alexis Jones, WTVA 9.